What is the role of the state government when it comes to education, and how would you address a school that is underperforming? See, that's why I knew this this would be easy, this question and answer, because most of all these questions the government has no business being involved in. And education, we all grew up, I graduated from a public uh, high school and, and that, and, and uh, so I, I grew up used to, oh yeah, the government runs education. The government has no business in education. The, uh, the tenth plank of the Communist Manifesto is government education. We're becoming more communist by having government education. Why shouldn't it be left up to the free market system? What's wrong with that? Like uh, uh, one person asked my friend, you know, well, what would we do then what, if, if the government wasn't providing education? And his answer was, what, what do shoe salesmen's, salesmen do when they want to sell their shoes? It's up to the free market system. We... It was not the intent of our founding fathers to have government-run education. And uh, we are in it. We're in it very, very deep. And so, again, this plane needs to land. We don't need to just cut it off and say, from now on, we're going to have education be in the, the free market system. But we need to be leaning towards that direction. And we need to incrementally, year by year, pass legislation that moves in that direction. Because then ultimately, in 10 years, we could be this independent state that I talked about earlier, setting the tone, setting the leadership for all the other states by having a free market education, education system. And that's, that's just allowing the flower to bloom, the flower of freedom and liberty. It's just allowing that flower to grow up and to be fertilized and to have all the nutrients it needs without the poison the government pours into it, for, to allow that flower to bloom and to grow and to become what it was supposed to become without government interference.